Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seat belts and prepare your taste buds as we embark on a relentless journey through the kingdom of brews. Welcome to the realm of intoxicating flavors and head-banging beer reviews. It's time for another Rare Beer Club unboxing and review with the Ginger Yeti. So I'm the Ginger Yeti, obviously, you're watching my channel. And if you've seen my channel before, I get this awesome thing called the Rare Beer Club. Uh, it's two bottles once a month. I never know what's in it. I haven't opened this yet, so I don't know what kind of beer is here. But I am prepared. Like I said, if you've seen my videos before, sometimes I got to use a corkscrew to get it open, bottle opener. Got a goblet because who knows what kind of beer it is. So I figured a goblet's probably the, the best cup to use for this. So let's get into it. Now, I'll put all the info down below about the Rare Beer Club. It's a cool thing. It's a gift I get every month and get beers from all over the world in here. So I have no idea what's going to be in this box, but we'll find out right now. Wow. You get this cool paperwork. And the first thing I see is BJ's Brew House from Temple, Texas. And if it's the same one I'm thinking of, BJ's Brew House has, has brew houses all over the country. Pretty common thing. I mean, the logo looks like that's what it is. And what they've given me is a robust German style Pilsner. And the other beer is Blue Mountain Barrel House from Arrington. A R R I N G T O N. Arrington, not Arlington, Arrington, Virginia, called Snow Day. And it's a rare beer club exclusive. It's a bourbon barrel aged imperial winter stout. Let's see what these bottles look like here. So the first one here is this Snow Day from Blue Mountain, barrel aged, kind of cool. And the other one is the Imperial Pilsner from BJ's Brew House, robust German style Pilsner. And surprisingly for being an Imperial Pilsner, it says it's only 6.9% alcohol. A lot of times you see these Imperial beers and they're way high ABV. So now I got to decide which one I want to review tonight. And I'll review the other one another day. Hmm. Barrel aged winter stout with spices. Imperial Pilsner. 6.9% or 10%. That's a tough decision. But, you know, I think I'm going to go with the uh, Snow Day because I don't think I've ever seen anything from uh, Blue Mountain Barrel House before. So it'll be something different, something new to me. Obviously, I've got the cork and the little whatever you want to call it up here. So I don't need this, thankfully. Don't need the bottle opener. Excuse me. Set this paperwork aside for another day. Wow, excuse me. I'll read to you a little bit about the beer that they have here on the uh, paperwork from Rare Beer Club. <clears throat> Blue Mountain Brewery, based in Virginia, has become a prominent player in the state's craft beer scene, earning multiple great, beer, great American Beer Festival medals since opening in 2007. While many breweries typically opt for the conventional path of expansion, focusing on production facilities and maximizing their best-selling offerings, Blue Mountain Brewery took a distinctive approach. Blue Mountain took a picturesque 15-acre site in the southern part of Nelson County, offering breathtaking mountain views. Being in the most mountainous county east of the Mississippi River, the prominent Blue Ridge Line became an integral part of their inspiration. Situated amidst 4,000-foot mountains near the George Washington National Forest, the facility design went beyond the ordinary, equipped with special capabilities for crafting the barrel-aged beers that now define the Blue Mountain identity. The Blue Mountain Barrel House series is a delicious range of specialty releases made in the Blue Mountain Production Brewery, known as the Barrel House. Every one of these we've tried has been an exceptional experience, and we're excited to offer the brewery's incredible snow day to our rare beer club members this month. This lush imperial stout has been aged for three months in freshly emptied charred American oak barrels with Coringi, I don't know how to say that word, cinnamon, ancho chili, cardamom, ganyan, cocoa nibs, and Madagascar vanilla beans. Snow Day is only available on site at the brewery's two pubs in Virginia, but they're kind enough to bottle up some 750 ml bottles exclusively for the Rare Beer Club. 
So on the paperwork, it says suggested glassware, snifter, small, small nonic, or a tulip glass. So I chose wisely. And then on the bottle here, there's a little bit to read about it. Let's see here, like I said, I showed you the bottle. Pretty cool. So on the side of the bottle says, it's a snow day, which I guess is appropriate because we're in Cleveland and it did snow the other day. Another day of winter drudgery is whisked away by the unexpected and a moment of freedom and adventure awaits. This artfully spiced imperial stout is close kin to our famed dark hollow bourbon barrel aged imperial stout. Never had that. Inspired by those wondrous days of youth spent sledding and by the final comfort of a mug of hot chocolate at the end of it all, Snow Day is a big chocolatey imperial stout aged for three months in freshly emptied bourbon barrels with coringigi, cinnamon, ancho chili, cardamom, Ghanaian coconut nibs, and Madagascar vanilla beans. And I'll put that coringigi, how you say it, I'll put that word in there so you can see it and tell me that I'm pronouncing it wrong. Uh... So that's enjoy by, but they didn't put a date on it. Kind of disappointed they didn't put a date for enjoy by. So maybe, maybe I should have aged this, but too late now, right? So I get to open this, see how poorly I do. Hopefully this doesn't blow up everywhere. Nothing fancy on the top here. And now I got a cork. Well, that seems to be sliding out pretty nice. Let's hope I don't shoot my eye off. Pretty cool. Came out real nice. A little bit of gun smoke at the top, and immediately as soon as that popped, lots of cinnamon. Big cinnamon, big whiff of cinnamon as soon as that popped. And I'll see if I can do this 45 degree angle. Oop, I touched the glass. Of course, that's pouring out super dark. I mean, I expected that. I don't know if this is on Untapped or Beer Advocate. If it is, I'll post those numbers up there. Oh, almost to the top. I mean, that's just midnight black. I don't have to look at the chart. That's a 40. And then that head, that's just a dark chocolatey head. Um, I need three fingers of it. But that's a nice dark chocolatey head. Like I said, I got a big whiff of cinnamon out of this. Let's see what I get when I get my nose in it. Cinnamon. Maybe some of the uh, cardamom, but really it's just mainly cinnamon. It says it's got uh, ancho chilies in it, so I wonder if this is going to be a little spicy. Let's get into it. I'm sure I've talked long enough that most of you have probably tuned out already. Cheers. Big cinnamon. Lots of cinnamon in that. And maybe some of that cardamom. Um, it's actually kind of light bodied for what it is. Let me let me taste that again. I mean it's got a, a, a medium body but on the lighter end. I, I expect it to be a little thicker than that. But this is very easily drinkable. It's a lot of cinnamon. I'm starting to get some of the a little bit of the heat, but not in the mouth, more more like down the throat. And I don't know if that's from the alcohol or the chilies. Now in the mouth, you don't taste any of the alcohol at all. Not at all. I mean I'm starting to get a little bit of a warming in the mouth. I'm guessing that's from the chilies. But there is no indication at all that this is a 10 ABV, 10% ABV beer. That is just, that's almost liquid cinnamon with a little tiny bit of heat at the back end. Now, there is kind of some uh, chocolatey sweetness to it. It's, it's balancing out the cinnamon and the heat a little bit, but it's very cinnamon forward. Now, again, I've never had anything from Blue Mountain that I know of. But this is a tasty beer. If this is if this is anything like the rest of their beers, I'd love to try some more of their beers. Give this a big horns up. This is an excellent beer. This would be a great beer to share with people. It's going to be rough drinking this whole bottle at this point in the night. 
But uh, if you can find this beer, definitely pick it up. If you've been to that brewery, let me know. I'd definitely love to go check out that brewery. I'm not sure where Arrington, Virginia is, but I'd definitely like to go check that out. Check out that brewery. Try some more of their beers. Hope you like checking out my video. If you do, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, embrace the adventure.